Question C6. It's a communication question on factory. Write two trinomials which have x minus 3 as their factor. Now, trinomial is of the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, but as a simple example, let's just write x squared plus bx plus c, okay? A simplified version. Now, if x minus 3 is a factor of this, that means in product and sum method which we do, let's say we want to find two numbers p and q whose product should be equal to c, right? And whose sum should be equal to b, right? Product should be equal to c and sum should be equals to b. And we know out of these two numbers, one number is 3. So let's assume p is 3, right? Then we can write q as any number. Right, that is a choice to get two different polynomials. So let's assume Q is 1. How does it matter? If Q is 1, in that case, what do you get? If Q is 1, then P times Q will be, let's assume, different values. So let's first assume Q is 1. Well, P is 3. That is given to us. If Q is 1, then P times Q, which is C, becomes 3, right? So we get 3 here. And P plus Q, which is B, becomes 4. So we get 4X plus X squared. So that is our solution, like this. Or if we assume Q as, let us say, 2. So we have 3 here, right? 3 and 2. In that case, 3 plus 2 is 5. So B is 5. So we get 5X here. And 3 times 2 is 6. So we'll write plus 6. And we have X squared. So like this, we can make infinite number of trinomials whose one of the factor is 3, right? Well, let's take some other example. For example, we know this is 3. The other number, let it be minus 5. How does it matter? So when you add 3 and minus 5, what do you get? You get minus 2. So we have x squared minus 2x and when you multiply, you get minus 15 minus 15. So these are the two magic numbers which will give you a result. So like this, you can make an array of trinomials whose one of the factors will be x minus 3. Correct? That's how we do it. Thank you.